Okay, so we're going to do a set of seat belts in this car. I've already done this side. Now we'll do this side, the drivers. Uh, I'm going to take off a lot of the fasteners for this panel. That way I can peel it back and take out the little recoil system in here. And I'll show you as I go. Okay, I took all these bolts out. Uh, these screws here, here. A little kick panel deal, or whatever you call it. There. There. And what I did is I took these out. I put them back in the other side because I've already done the other side. So where are we at? It's kind of hard to see. Uh, I'm facing the sun, but that way I'll have an easier time uh, figuring out how to put these screws back in. So I got all the screws out, and now I can pull this out. It should be far enough to get to the um, little coil deal. And let's see what else. Oh, I missed one. Take that guy out, and then I'll pop this boy off here. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There we go. So there's that. Okay, so to remove the back of the seal, unscrew these guys. I already did. Then take the 7 16 uh, bolts out. I already took out the rear seat. Um, I forgot how to do it. Uh, I'll link the description to LMR. Uh, they tell you how to do it. They have a good video. But um, <clears throat> basically, you just pull up on it. And uh, so I'll take the seat out and we'll be a step further. Okay, remove the seat back. Now I'm going to take this guy out. It's a 5.8. It'll give me a little bit more clearance to pull out the, uh, the trim here to get to the recoiler. Okay, so we got that bolt out so we can move the seat arm out of the way. So we'll be able to pull, well, we'll get it out of the way eventually. So we'll be able to pull this out once we take this big um, Torx bolt out. Okay, so I took all the bolts out for this little metal deal, whatever it's called, where your headliner gets stuffed into. And now we can peel this piece of the trim back. Let's see if I can see here with you. I can't really see much. Uh, I might just have to pull it out, but without the camera rolling, I can see where the um, the recoiler is. Let's see if I can peel this thing back. There we go. You can see that gold Torx head. We're going to take that thing out, and then I can take the uh, the recoil out. All right, this is a. It's a door buzzer, the seatbelt buzzer, but we're going to break it. We'll push it through. There we go. Now I can reach your hand in here. Where am I reaching my hand? There it is. Okay. I'll just have to turn it off, but I got to take the seatbelt out of this deal, and then I can get the... Uh, Recoil action out. Okay, so here's our new one. We're going to bolt it in. The uh, the bolt goes in the down position, and I use you know I reuse the same hardware. Let's see if we can see. You really can't see too well. At least with my okay, you can see the bolt hole. So I'll um, get it in place and then um, uh, thread it into position. All right, so I have the uh, the bottom part in position. I don't know if you saw that. And I just have it um, snug, and I got this uh, Torx bolt snug as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to pull on it. That way I can get the, uh, the recoil kind of straightened up, and then I'll torque it down to spec, which is 22, I'm sorry, it's 27 foot-pounds. The reason I'm doing that is the old seat belt. Let me see if I can show you. Here's the old one, and you see these little alignment tabs here? That way you can line it up perfect, and then you run the bolt through the, this side and uh, tighten it down. The new one doesn't have these little alignment tabs, so I'm got, I got the bolt set in there, holding it in place, and then I'm doing this. That way I can, sorry, I'm pulling down on the seat belt. That way I can uh, get this bad boy lined up about right, and then I'll torque it down the spec. I don't know if you can see anything, my apologies. Okay, so my son held this down while I torqued down the, uh, the bottom here. Uh, this is still not torqued, but I'm gonna go ahead and run the new sleeve through this and then bolt it down there. 
Okay, we got the bottom torque bolt in and torque down. Our torque set, I'm sorry. That's torque down. Uh, nothing fancy about putting the um, the belt through the uh, sleeve. It just I just thumbed it in there. Um, wasn't too easy. I've, I've heard of people running like a zip tie or some kind of wire through and pulling it in. Um, I was just determined and stubborn and was able to force it through. And now I'll do the other side of the uh, seat belt. Okay, we got the sleeve through the uh, seat belt buckle. Uh, there's a little grommet right here. We'll put the, we'll go ahead and line it up and bolt it down. All right, there we go. It buckles and it extends and it catches. One last step. Let's put this on. I won't be able to do it with the camera on. Oh, there we go. And we are done, except for the interior and the seats and all that other stuff. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. We got the seats in, the car seats are back in. The interior trim is uh, put back in place. One of the things that helped me and hurt me doing this is that it is August in Florida. So it sucked working out in the heat, but it also helped the plastic was more malleable. So just be careful if you're doing this in the dead of winter. Another thing, I hate to tell on myself, but just make sure you pull from the seat belt. Pull on everything really hard because, I hate to admit it, but whenever I put this one in, I didn't line up the little D-ring with, uh, with the bolt. So I put it through, and then whenever I gave it a tug, it just pulled right out. So I had to uh, thumb this thing in, uh, to the sleeve twice. But that is it.